When the government's so-called Fast and Furious program was created, the idea was to allow illegal guns to be shipped into Mexico so investigators could trace where they were going and get a better handle on where Mexico's criminal cartels were operating. But the program has been a disaster. The guns have been linked to killings of Mexican officials, and now it appears that Attorney General Eric Holder knew a lot more about it than he recently told Congress. Here's Cheryl Atkinson. New documents obtained by CBS News show Attorney General Eric Holder was sent briefings on the controversial Fast and Furious operation as far back as July 2010. That directly contradicts his statement to Congress. Listen to what Holder told a Judiciary Committee hearing on May 3rd this year. I'm not sure of the exact date, but I probably heard about Fast and Furious for the first time over the last few weeks. Yet internal Justice Department documents show that at least 10 months before that hearing, Holder began receiving frequent memos discussing Fast and Furious. They came from the head of the National Drug Intelligence Center and Assistant Attorney General Lanny Brewer. In Fast and Furious, ATF agents allegedly allowed thousands of weapons to cross the border and fall into the hands of Mexican drug cartels. It's called Letting Guns Walk, and it remained secret to the public until Border Patrol agent Brian Terry was murdered last December. Two guns from Fast and Furious were found at the scene, and ATF agent John Dodson blew the whistle on the operation. Ever since, the Justice Department has publicly tried to distance itself, but the new documents leave no doubt that high-level justice officials knew guns were being walked. Two Justice Department officials mulled it over in an email exchange October 18, 2010. It's a tricky case given the number of guns that have walked, but is a significant set of prosecution, says Jason Weinstein, Deputy Assistant Attorney General of the Criminal Division. Deputy Chief of the National Gang Unit James Trusty replies, I'm not sure how much grief we get for guns walking. It may be more like, finally, they're going after people who sent the guns down there. Now, the Justice Department told CBS News that the officials in those emails were talking about an entirely different case started before Eric Holder became attorney general. And tonight, they tell CBS News Holder misunderstood that question from Congress, that he did know about Fast and Furious, just not the details. Bob. Okay, thank you very much, Cheryl. The Nobel